Well, hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com and what I want to do today is show you how to create a very simple sepia tone but yet with a splash of color look. All right, now there's a lot of actions out there. That's like the new the new uh, craze right now is actions. I'm going to show you how you can do this real simple and you can also create your own actions if you want to. So let's get started. Super quick. Layer, duplicate layer, and then that's it. Okay, now we have two layers that we can work on. The top layer is the one we're going to be adjusting. So then what I want to do is go to image, adjustments, and then hue and saturation. All right. And then I'm just going to go to colorize. And then instantly you're going to see it almost makes it like a reddish uh, hue to it. We're just going to adjust that hue. And you can see now we can start to create like a sepia tone look. I can take the saturation and I can dial that down. If I took it all the way down to be black and white, if I want to just add some of that warmth back to it, I can do that. If I really want to make it look old fashioned and sepia tone, I can do that. But let's just go somewhere here in the middle. Let's go to 25, let's go 35 here and click OK. Now the cool thing is, is you can add some color back just by taking the opacity and just starting to bring that back. Now you may be saying, well, Scott, yeah, but it looks kind of faded out. Well, that might be the look, OK? Or what you can do is what I'm about to show you. Let's, let's go with that right now. That kind of looks old fashioned. It looks, it looks pretty good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and flatten that down. And now I'm going to kind of go back to one of the other lessons that I've already created and I've already shot and published is uh, how you can actually get this image to pop now. So now what we're going to do is go and do the same thing. Layer, duplicate layer, and click OK. And then I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to go to my Layer, Mode, or Styles, and I'm going to go to Soft Light. And then you can see now I turn it on and off and look what I've done. Now you might be saying, well, he looks a little soft. Well, we can either do one of two things. We can dial this down a little bit or, and what I'm going to probably do is just take the eraser and just go in here and bring some of his face back and maybe even some of his, some of his body, right? Because we only maybe wanted to add that to that part of it, okay? So that's like one way to do it, okay? So that looks better. If we take that, we really only adjusted the outer portion of it and you know the truck and stuff. But let's do one other thing. Let's say we do it a different way. Now I've shown this in the past. Let's go layer, duplicate layer. Let's convert that to a black and white, which is the easy, simple way is just take the, uh, go to, go to uh, image and then adjustments, hue and saturation, and then just yank that baby down, click okay. Go over here to layer in the mode again. We're always in the mode and we're going to go to soft light. And then if you turn that on and off, you can see we've added some of that richness back, right? Some of that, some of that depth, right? Some of the blacks back, right? So I can, again, further adjust that by just adjusting the, the uh, opacity if I wanted to. See, I like it right in about there and that looks pretty good. Or let me go back here now to the layer mode or style and I can go to overlay. And now you can see we get a completely different look. Again, I can adjust that and bring that down like that right there. Okay, so it's really your taste, your preference. I just want to show you how simple this is to modify an image. When we started with the full color, then we went to that. Then we added some of the definition and the darks and the blacks back to give it a little bit more depth. And, uh, and then you can just play around with it. Uh, you can even go as far as going hard light. If you go hard light, a lot of times, Oops, let me go back here. You can see there it's really, really dark in some of those areas. But you know what? That doesn't look that bad, right? Or I can just go in here and, and dial this down a little bit. So you can just see. You play around with those styles, the layer styles and the mode there. You can get a lot of different results. But the key is, is to create this duplicate layer and then modify that layer. A lot of people will use a layer mask on that and that's perfectly fine. But this is a simple way that a lot of people, especially just starting, can kind of wrap their heads around. Super simple to do. So once again, I'm Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com. And if you'd like to learn more about our Digital Creations Club where we offer digital creations just like this one right here, you can head over to NewPortraitBiz.com forward slash club. We have uh, monthly downloads there. We have a private club store where you can get things for 50% off. We have hundreds of these just like this one right here uh, inside of the store and we have 
over, I believe at this time that I'm recording this, over 60 uh, video lessons in there um, like this that are uh, giving tips to enhance and to, you know, just be creative and uh, using the tools that uh, we're able to have at our disposal. So once again, I'm Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com. If you have any questions, head over to NewPortraitBiz.com and just send me an email through there and I'll be glad to get back to you as soon as I can. So that's going to wrap it up. I will talk to you later.